I am the Iceman. You know how hard it is to do a video that I want to do like this when there's no alcohol involved because four years ago if I wanted to do a video like this I would just down some natural ices yes natural ices because naturally I says you be my original YouTube channel and I'd have no problem saying what I wanted to say but today this present day I still am the Iceman I have these Iceman, you know, classic glasses. Um, I don't portray someone who I'm not. Um, I get a lot of personal messages of people saying that a certain individual here on YouTube is taking, trying to take me down. Uh, I already know who that is. Um, and no, you know, I get a lot of, uh, messages saying there's a lot of history between you and Gemini 888. Why are you guys still friends? That's nobody's business for one thing. Secondly, we are friends. We like the same things. We love professional wrestling. And no, it's not Gemini who's sending these personal messages. It's another acquaintance of both Gemini and myself. Um, you know, I look at the numbers sometimes every now and then. I, I usually don't. I look at the numbers and I, you know, as far as subscribers go or, or anything. And I go, wow. Well, you know, I thought it'd be a, a lot better than that. And, um, but when I got the messages from all these people, I just, you know, I didn't put two and two together because I've been really so busy, you know, saying that um, such and such is telling us to unsubscribe to you and whatnot. And I just respond back, basically, you know, you have a choice to do what you want. You know, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Now, in the old days, I'd be ranting and raving and I'd put this YouTube user down. But I'm not gonna. This guy portrays to be a Mr. Nice Guy. Um, he, he, he wants everybody to love him, but if you go to all his social networks and you put everything together, nothing that is there aligns together. It's all like, it's like he's separate people. It's like he's got like six different personalities. Nothing matches up. I mean, one network says he don't have a job. Another network says he does have a job. I mean, take it for what it's worth. He he had the uh, audacity to say he doesn't want drama here on YouTube, yet he dramatizes. He destroyed a mutual friend of a lot of people here on YouTube. I'm not going to mention his name either, um, to the point where you hardly ever see him comment on videos anymore. He's more Facebook orientated. Uh, and I think that's that's a shame, but I've seen this happen before in the past, and I, for one, don't take the crap. I don't care. If anybody knows me, uh, I, and I know there's a bunch of you out there, know when I get rolling on a video, when I start ranting on a video or anything else, you know that's the vintage Iceman. But that's the vintage Iceman without the aspect of any kind of alcohol, which when I drank, I haven't drank for, all, it's been two years and going on eight months. When I drank, I wouldn't say anything in the world. I didn't care what I said. I would rip you to shreds. And people always really have to throw that in your face every now and then they'll bring it up so why are you and you such friends uh you never were before it is what it is um but anyway i am the ice man and there's no doubt about it i got this nickname a long time ago 
when I was a teenager, and maybe someday I'll explain why I got that nickname. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not about killing or anything like that. It's just that the simple fact is, you know, I was very cold. I mean, I was cold. But we'll get into that another time. Um, John Cena. Gemini 888 video about the segment last night with John Cena and I did this on another channel as well um, this is what I'm talking about true people in wrestling with the intelligence this is why I'm there to watch Gemini's videos it's just, you, you know, you know what he's going to say. He talked about the segment being so great, as well as I did on my other channel. Um, and yet we have to listen to all these negative comments about Cena haters. John Cena put up a, 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 a promo last night, or, or his speaking in this, this segment last night was epic. He tore Randy Orton down. And every single thing he said about Randy Orton was the absolute truth. Everything was handed to Randy Orton. John Cena and Randy Orton were OBW back in, what, 2002, 2003. Um, Cena was like a prototype man. Randy Orton was Randy Orton. Randy Orton got beat by Cena in Randy Orton's last match in OBW, came to the WWE, Cena shortly came thereafter. Of course, he cleaned up his look because he sort of looked like a punk back then. But it's the truth. Shortly thereafter, Randy Orton was in evolution with Ric Flair, Triple H, Dave Batista, and that's where he began. John Cena had to do everything on his own. Now, Everything John Cena said last night was absolutely correct. He talked about Daniel Bryan telling Orton about work. Who had to work? Not you, Randy Orton, but this guy right here, Daniel Bryan. And look what he got for it. He got the WWE title from John Cena. He got screwed by the pedigree by uh, Triple H, and Randy Orton cashes in. And then he wins again at the following pay-per-view and gets screwed by a fast count. John Cena said it best last night. If I win the title, and that's a big if because there's a lot of variables involved. I would love to see John Cena win because if anybody deserves it, it is John Cena. And I don't care what anybody else says because all you naysayers out there that hate John Cena, you tell me. Who you think should be in these, in these, in this match? Who do you think besides Orton and Cena should be in this unified title match? Uh, you know, at TLC, you tell me who. The WWE is doing this for a purpose. They're unifying the belts. They want the two biggest names, and not so. Well, I'll take that back. Not so much the two biggest names but the two biggest names that have been there for this long period of time. People will say, well, why not CM Punk? Why not Daniel Bryan? Cena, Orton, been here since 2003. The biggest guys since coming in, that's why they did it. They want to unify the title, and then from then on, it goes from there. But you people continually to badmouth Cena, not so much Randy Orton. And you know, the problem is, think about this. What would you people think if there was never a John Cena or never a Randy Orton in the WWE? Where do you think the WWE would be today? Do you think maybe CM Punk would still be here? Maybe not. Because... CM Punk respects John Cena. CM Punk sees what Randy Orton 
was able to accomplish. He may not respect him, but he saw what he could accomplish. There's guys here that without these two guys, a lot of other people may not have ever wanted to come in the WWE. So, I'm here to deliver information. I try to give you facts, not fiction. I don't lie to you. Um, maybe I did four years ago. But in any event, I am the Iceman. And I'm not going to say I thank you for being a part of my day. I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything I do in a video to make you think I'm something other than what I am. I'm just a wrestling fan for over 35 years. I love professional wrestling. I state what I see. And that's all I do. And I just find it very, you know, it's sort of disgusting that there are other certain particular YouTubers, and it's very few, that have to send comments to people, you know, trying to badmouth myself because, in fact, they are jealous of who I am. Even though their channel is bigger, they're jealous of who I am. And I have to, I, you know, I will say this. If I could give 10,000 subs just like that to a channel, I'd give it to Gemini888. I'd give him 10,000 subs just like that, just for his knowledge in the world of professional wrestling. And you know what else I'd do? I'd give myself 9,999 subs. I'd stay one behind him all the way. Because I know Gemini and myself are two of the most knowledgeable people here on YouTube. And you can take that. It's money in the bank, baby. This is the Iceman. Vintage Iceman. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night.